Martin, who's in Turkey with Islamic Relief, uh, helping uh, the efforts. And thank you very much, Salah, for joining us once more. Um, the last time we spoke to you, you were just about to head out uh, to assess the conditions and, and the areas of need. Just give us a picture about what's happening there on the ground. I've been involved in, in humanitarian work for 15 years. And I have to say that I was shocked. I was shocked by the scale of the devastation, of the damage, of the impact of this earthquake. It's unprecedented. The numbers are huge, the amount of impact. I mean, behind me here, at the time we spoke, I was talking about how we were putting people into temporary sort of uh, buildings like this mosque behind me. And unfortunately, it's been completely destroyed. People have had to go from one building to another. Now, psychologically, the impact of the earthquake has meant that people do not want to go into any buildings. They prefer actually at times to be in tents. The numbers are unprecedented. For the first 72 hours, we're now about 85 hours post-earthquake. For the first 72 hours, a lot of the focus rightfully was on search and rescue. I've been involved in some of those search and rescues in Gaziantep, in Nordege, um, in uh, Marash, and all of these sorts of locations that are very, very close to the epicenter. And everywhere you look, there's destruction. Yesterday in Nordege, 70% of the buildings totally collapsed. One pile of rubble was originally four 15-story buildings, and now it stands as a 15-meter high pile of rubble. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. And as you can imagine, there are still hundreds of thousands of people who are buried underneath the rubble. We're not giving up. The search and rescue efforts continue. But at times now, we're hearing in some areas, I was at a distribution this morning, giving out blankets to people because of the cold. And people are, are talking now about wanting potentially to, to stop the search and rescue efforts because it's been too long. Others want to continue because there's still hope. We're focused on continuing the search and rescue efforts. We'll not give up on them. We then have to provide people with tents, with blankets, with food, with medical um, sort of assessments and vitals. Yeah. It's still, it's, it's really, really difficult. It's challenging. You know, we're appealing to everybody to support organizations like Islamic Relief who are working on the ground, both here in Turkey and in Syria, to provide us with vital items that can help save lives. Yeah, I, I 